हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग एपिसोड ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड माइथोलॉजी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लोर द टेम्पल्स मोर देन फिफ्टी फाइव हंड्रेड ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड द वर्ल्ड सेकेंड ओल्डेस्ट एग्जिस्टिंग मैन मेड रिलीजियस स्ट्रक्चर आफ्टर द गोबे की तेपे दिस टेम्पल इज नोन एज गैंटिया टेम्पल विच प्रिडेट्स द पिरामिड्स एंड स्टोन हेंज at least by 1 millennium if you are new to our channel then please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon a big thank you to those who already subscribed gantia or giantess is a megalithic temple complex from the neolithic on the mediterranean island of gozo the gantia temples are the earliest of the megalithic temples of malta and are older than the pyramids of Egypt their makers erected the two gantia temples during the neolithic circa 3600 to 2500 bc which makes these temples more than 5500 years old the local legend says that a great giantess sansuna who lived on a diet of broad beans and water constructed one of the temples in a single day carrying the megaliths on her head as she carried her baby under her arm in the gantia premises each temple consists of a number of apses flanking a central corridor there is evidence of the internal walls having been plastered and painted over as proven by two plaster fragment with red okre now on display at the gantia temples interpretation center the temples are built in a typical clover leaf shape with inner facing blocks marking the shape the shape between the walls was then filled in with rubble a series of semicircular apses is connected with a central passage archaeologists believe that the apses were originally covered by roofing the afford is a remarkable feat when considering the monuments were constructed when the wheel had not been introduced and no metal tools were available to the maltese islanders a small spherical stones have been discovered they were used as ball bearing for the vehicles that transported the enormous stone blocks used for the temples some of the megaliths in the gantia temples exceed 5 meter in length and weigh over 50 tons giants were believed to have constructed these prehistoric temples and that is from where their name originates notwithstanding their age the temples survive in a considerably good state of preservation this is noticeable in the boundary wall that encloses the two temples and which is built in rough coralline limestone blocks the hard wearing coralline limestone is used extensively at gantia temples and is one of the reasons behind the preservation of the monument The temples are elements of a ceremonial site in a fertility rite. Researchers have found that the numerous figurines and statues found on site are associated with that cult. They worshiped a mother goddess whose type is known from early statues found scattered around the Mediterranean. Similar statues are also found on Malta. several being on uniquely large size the construction of this building demonstrate mastery of quarrying stone working building and engraving technique and must be the work of a mature confident culture due to the size and complexity of the temples and the extensive resource which must have been required to build and maintain them they must have played a very important part in the ongoing life of the community the temple people disappeared abruptly and without a trace around 2300 bce 
leaving future generation to, to speculate and hope for additional discoveries to shed light and understanding on this wheel period of our past. Certainly, these ancient structures represent a phenomenal culture, artistic and technological development in a very early period in human life. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more and share this knowledge with your family and friend. I will meet you in another interesting video. Till then, goodbye.